everyone. Welcome to the Grosvenor Westgate Casino here in Leeds. It's a pleasure to be here. And um, firstly, I think it's very important that um, we give a quick award to uh, a man that's, I think, now become, as you'll see today, the best dressed fighter in the Matchroom Stadium. Let's have a, a nice warm round of applause for Josh Warrington. I mean, it really shocked me today. I mean, Brian normally is rocking the threads, but this is on another level. I mean, we have to get away because he has to go to court at two o'clock, so it's very important. So much going on in British boxing at the moment, and I can't tell you how excited we are for Saturday night. It's a real pleasure, and it's so refreshing to come to a city that is craving big-time boxing. Tickets have gone better than expected. Josh Warrington, I've said it before, say it again, the biggest ticket seller in the country. And um, it's an absolute pleasure to be at the FD Arena. And as I've said in press releases and leading up, the atmosphere on Saturday night at the FD Arena is going to be one of the best atmospheres I think ever witnessed, ever heard on a British boxing night. And I really, really mean that. I think last time it was very, very special when Josh fought. This time we've got double the people in there and it's going to be absolutely fantastic. To talk about the card and, and a few people here today, a big night for a lot of people uh, on Saturday night. Not just Josh, but of course, we have a wonderful domestic fight for the Commonwealth Light like Welterweight title. Down on the end, Dave Ryan. Um, it's a vacant title vacated by Willie Limond, facing Tyrone Nurse. Um, it's a, a wonderful, wonderful fight. Stylistically, a great fight to watch. Tyrone is fast becoming one of the biggest stars in the division in the UK. Very, very talented fighter, very difficult to beat. And Dave's fought some of the top fighters in the division. Always entertaining, always comes to fight. Got big support coming from Derby. Tyrone side sold a lot of tickets as well. We'll be hearing from them shortly. Brian Rose, um, back from his world title challenge um, in America. He's in action. It's a, a big night for Brian Rose off the back of some very, very tough fights. Javier Maciel in the final eliminator. And then of course Demetrius Andrade. Brian's looking to make a statement and come back for a big fight later this year. Ricky Burns, absolute pleasure to have the two-weight world champion here in Leeds coming back um, after the Zlatican fight, coming up, stepping up for the first time at 10 stone, um, trying things out at light world to weight, been involved in some huge, huge fights against massive names, you know, beating the likes of Michael Katsidis, beating the likes of Kevin Mitchell, um, great fight, of course, with Terence Crawford, the current champion, and now looking to get back on the title trail himself. Of course, the main event, uh, the vacant European featherweight title. Such a wonderful fight, of course, between David Dele here, a vacant title vacated by Lee Selby, and of course Josh Warrington, a man who has captured the British and Commonwealth and now hopes to add that big European title um, to the, the trophy cabinet as well. Again, he's been out and about everywhere. He was at Ellen Road last night. You know, we had the public workout last week. He's becoming a huge, huge star in the city. Big pressure on him to deliver on Saturday night. I know he's taking it in his stride and he can't wait to hear the noise. Um, so firstly, I'm going to ask it for the gentleman to say a few words at the table. Dave, welcome. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about what kind of fight you expect on Saturday night. Well, um, I'm expecting Tyrone to be on his feet quite a lot. He's trying to fit me away, he's trying to keep me at arm's length. But I'm just, uh, I don't think he's going to withstand the pressure for 12 rounds that I'm going to bring. And a big opportunity for you, obviously, a, a big title yeah. live on Sky Sports as well. Massive opportunity for me, yeah. I'm taking it with both hands and going to give it me all. And um, I think it's going to be a really good fight, yeah. And Tyrone, obviously, mandatory for the British, waiting for that one to come through later this year. But full credit to you and Chris. You know, this is a dangerous fight for you, but an opportunity to pick up, pick up a big belt. Oh, obviously, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a top opportunity. It's a Commonwealth title. There are a lot of fighters that get that opportunity in their career. Um, it's a big, it's a big, dangerous fight. And the fact that you know we must be mandatory. If we do lose, we lose that position as well. But you know, that's not something I'm planning on doing. I'm expecting a tough fight. You know, Dave's game, he boxed them all. He's a uh, rugged, rough, better boxer than people probably even credit for. But you know, I'm looking forward to boxing on Saturday night, doing what I do, and coming on with the belt. And also sold plenty of tickets, got big support yep. coming down from Huddersfield. Over. And expecting obviously a great atmosphere. Yeah, we can't wait, they're all looking yeah. forward to it. You know, we're all getting behind the Josh fighters, Josh Warrington and, and such, and you know, we're all getting up there and then doing the, the business. And Brian, obviously massive experience game, not just in, in the Andrade fight, but a Massiel fight as well. Back in action, fresh start, looking for new changes. 
for the rest of the year and of course 2015. Yeah, I mean, I can't get, I can't wait to get back to winning ways. Um, you know, since the Andre Andre fight, I've done a lot of thinking and changed a lot of things uh, in camp, um, and things have ran so much smoother. Um, it's the biggest fight of my career. It's not the toughest fight, but it's the biggest fight of my career because I need to get back on track and look good doing it. Um, I don't belong at A-round level and I'll prove that on Saturday night, you know, I want to start winning titles again and hopefully next year fight for a world title again, that, you know, that's my aim, I, I, I do believe, I believe, I, I believe I, I belong at world title level, uh, world championship level and that's where I'll get back to, I know, I know that for a fact. How much have you seen or are you expecting to find it more in a ring on Saturday night? The experience that you've learned through those two fights, especially the Andrade fight, and the experience you gained out of the whole, you know, fight. Can you see that already? Particularly inspiring and stuff like that. Obviously, you've now been at super elite level in the division. Yeah, I mean, of course, I, I, I believe I, I froze the last fight um, against Andre. That I, I froze myself, taking nothing away from how good Andre is, but I did freeze a little bit and. Um, I feel I've got so much more to give. I was in camp for 14 weeks and in the fight didn't do much. So I feel it's all going to come out in this camp um, and in this fight. Um, on paper, this, this should be straightforward and I will make it straightforward. I will be convincingly on Saturday night and prove that I don't belong at that level. And Ricky, obviously, uh, as the pro that you are, trying just as hard for this fight than you did for the Crawford fight, and you did for the Beltran <coughs> fight, and you did for the Mitchell fight, the Catsidas fight, the Moses fight, and uh, back at Ten Stone, obviously uh, a much more comfortable week for you this week, and obviously looking forward to seeing how that plays out. I know, yeah. Trent had a nice win in the for this week. Um, I couldn't be happier with the way, obviously, the, the final week's been for me now. Um, usually, that was the way that I wanted to talk to him, then walk myself in, in the house. Um, try to kill myself to make the nine stone nine limit. Um, but now I've moved up, um, it's about a fresh start now. Um, I, the, I changed that point again, um, but the way training and that's been going, um, it doesn't really matter. I'm just looking forward to getting in there, proving the doubt or wrong, and get out there and put on a good performance. Good, can't wait to see you back. Um, David, um, it's going to be very loud on Saturday night. The atmosphere will be incredible in this great city of Leeds. What are you expecting? And tell us a bit about the, the fight that you think will happen on Saturday night. You know, it's you know, I'm trained very well for this match because the European title is the dream of my life. Um, well, I, I, I were trained for, uh, for this fight, uh, European title was uh, uh, a dream uh, of my life and uh, I, I try in, uh, in any way to, to release this dream. And how does he think the atmosphere and, and pressure of, of the crowd and the noise, are you comfortable with that? What do you think of the atmosphere that will be present if you are present with your friends, if you are present with your friends? Yes, I am sure that there will be a great party for Wellington. I hope to be able to control all the emotions and to be able to do my match. Well, uh, sure, I, I, um, I know uh, uh, there will be a lot, lot of supporters of Warrington. I, I hope uh, to check my, my emotion, to control my emotion and do a good fight. Thank you very much. And Josh, obviously, uh, you've always been very popular in this city and, and now it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And like, like I said to you earlier, last time we had this capacity, now we've got this capacity. We could even go a little bit more. Um, pressure? I mean, you know, I know that you're a young guy who loves, loves the, the atmosphere and, 
and the, the fighting aspect. Are you starting to feel it a little bit, or you know, there's a lot of expectancy on your, your shoulders on Saturday, especially if Leeds lose to Sheffield Wednesday, <laughs> which we're, we're like that. Uh, no, not really. <clears throat> it's not really pressure. It's more of a, a kick up backside, you know. Um, I know there's going to be a lot of people coming down, and uh, a lot of people expect me to do business, and I use that as positive energy, and you know, when I walk to me, I know all them people are right behind me, and it's like they're going to be like a 12 point in football. Um, you know, keep me going, and uh, you know, they're all shining here, it makes me really push on them, and want to win that little bit more. Obviously, you've had a great camp, great spar, and I saw you spar plenty of rounds with Scott Quigg as well. Um, Moved into you know the real elite level now. You know, obviously you, you was operating so often, and, and I think Steve Wood deserves a huge amount of credit as well, taking you up the hard way. Obviously, won English titles, and now captured the Commonwealth, British, European. You know, this is this is a, a massive snowball for you now, and I think you know you know that this you're approaching the elite level of the sport. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, last last 12 months has been a, a real roller coaster, like I said, this time last year. I was about to defend the English title in Pavilion at Ellen Road, and, and now we're with it, you know, headlining arena on a on a fantastic show with some top, you know, talent on, on the show as well. Um, so it's a massive honour, and uh, you know, I'm living dream at the moment, absolutely loving every little bit of it. But I want nothing more to bring a bit of European glory back to Leeds. Good stuff, good stuff, and obviously. Saturday night also mentioning other people on the bill. Callum Smith, one of the top super middleweights in the world, would also be in action. Uh, we've got a huge Scottish contingent coming down and also supporting not just Ricky but David Brophy uh, and Stephen Simmons as well. Arfan Iqbal, uh, Simon Valili, also on the bill. Callum Johnson, the former Commonwealth champion. Reese Cartwright, it's an absolutely packed bill. There are tickets still available. VIPs are sold out. I think 60s are nearly gone as well. But there are still 30s and 40s. You've got to spread the word about this one. The atmosphere is going to be unreal. Already over the moon with the response, over the moon with the numbers. So let's just keep pushing on these, these last couple of days. As always, thanks for coming down. We're going to do a couple of uh, head-to-heads for Sky. And all the fighters are available, obviously, for the media. And any pictures and, and photos and signings that people want. So thanks a lot. And then we'll see you at the Wayne tomorrow. Thank you very much.